Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Today's book, 100 Hungry Ants, by Eleanor J. Pinsess, illustrated by Bonnie McCain, published by Houghton Mifflin Company, Boston. Of course, the ant with Napoleon complex costs them. This hardcover follows a hundred hungry ants on their way to a picnic site to steal food, and they incorporate a little math along the way, thinking it will make them faster. The author is a tad bit long-winded and includes some rhymes and repetition along the way. We drop in on a whole hill of ants, and they get a whiff of something in the wind. The book states, I quote, It hinted of yummies for their empty tummies, and they knew right away it was a picnic. Probably one of those stupid millennial ones where they bring wine and cheese from Whole Foods and take pictures of how beautiful it is, but they leave out all the trash around them and the 50-year-old man sunbathing in a Speedo next to him. So the ant colony sends out a hundred willing, able-bodied ants singing and marching on their way to steal the food. This is when the smallest ant, and clearly the bossiest ant, who self-appoints himself as the leader, yells at everyone to tell them, I quote, Stop! We're moving too slow! Some food will be gone! Unless we hurry up so! Apparently, if you're moving too slow, the logical thing to do is stop altogether, not speed up. This little ant seems to think that if they split up into two rows of fifty, they will move faster. So instead of moving towards the picnic, everyone listens to this ant for some reason and scrambles to get into two rows. How much time is this wasting? So the ants begin to march again, and they see a mouse running by with a pickle, and a rabbit made himself a sandwich, and brought the whole jar of mustard with him. Then the littlest ant thinks they're marching too slow again, and stops all progress, telling everyone they would be faster in four rows of twenty-five. So everyone races to get into four rows, and they begin to march, and more and more woodland creatures are scurrying away from the picnic with food in hand. Are you starting to see a pattern here? This travesty continues, with the littlest ant yelling at everyone and halting all progress, until he eventually gets the ants down to ten rows of ten, all while other park creatures are getting theirs. They finally get to the picnic, and this little jackass ant yells, I quote, Stop! We've traveled way too slow! Um, yeah, whose fault is that? He tells them there's no food, and he gaslights the 99 other ants. So the ants go on a rampage through the picnic site, where the millennials clearly just left their trash, because who cares? They got their pictures. And you know, Stacy goes vegan for the month of January to save the environment. Well anyway, these ants turn everything over in their rage, and there's absolutely no food to steal. So the 99 ants need to take their rage out on someone, so they all realize they should have never listened to the littlest ant in the first place, and all go chasing after him as he flees. You never know if they catch him, but I hope he's fast. Yes, this book's main goal was to teach us, the readers, math, specifically division, but is the author trying to say something deeper? Is she insinuating that if you blindly follow a dictator, and you jump when they say jump because they promise it will make things better, even though there is no logic or facts on their side, you will ultimately be left without food and chaos will ensue as you rebel to correct your initial mistake? We will never know, but it certainly seems like that is what the author was saying. Overall, this book was a little too long-winded and had a little too much repetition for me, but the fact that I learned something and the hysterical surprise at the end when the ants end up with no food made up for it. The pictures had a nice style that I have not seen, so on a scale of 1 to 5, I'm going to give this book a 3. I'll have a heap and helpin'. This goose is cooked. Join us next time for another in-depth book review.